Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. <coughs> Excuse me. Late at night and I'm trying to do several videos because in between now and Christmas I am I am booked to, to here. I've been doing some part-time work during the day for some folks doing some floors and stuff and uh, by the time I get done, I almost thought about just not doing any videos till after Christmas, but I think I need to be doing them for you. The left, the idiocity of the left is showing in leaps and bounds. Let's talk about poor old little AOC. You know, she's she's got all these accolades to her name. You know, bartender, wet shirt, wet shirt participant, member of Congress, one of the most liberal members of Congress. She proved she was a pretty fair actress when she went down to the border in a white suit and cried at a fence facing the wrong direction. She came nowhere near where the children were being held and then showed pictures of the Obama cages, not the Trump cages. I don't know what people expect down there on the border, but right now we're in. We're we're fixing to find out. We're fixing to see the Mongols come across the border on the 21st, which is oh, that's a week. That's next. That's next uh, Wednesday. But the reason I'm bringing her up, she did a documentary for HBO or somebody, and they put it in theaters. I'm having a hard time telling you this because it's really kind of funny. The theaters only have they only they only registered eighty dollars in sales for people to go see that movie that little miss a o c produced or was in she was in produced something like that she was it was showing her backpacking across an area with about a 60 pound pack on. Yeah, she didn't carry that long a bit. And if she did, if she carried it very long, then she handed it off to a Sherpa. The silly thing did not make money at all. No money. I feel. Then, let's look at Sam Brenton. Sam Brenton was deputy director for uh, waste management, nuclear waste management at the Department of Energy. Back in September, Mr. Brenton was char arrested and charged with theft 
he stole a woman's Vera Bradley suitcase and all of her clothes. They said that the suitcase and contents was worth about $2,325. Then, and I I'm, I'm, believe it was in October, he was at Harry Reid International Airport in Las Vegas and stole a woman's uh, away luggage. Now, I've never heard of away, so this may be one of those high dollar specialty units. But they said that, I'm looking at the numbers here, contents and suitcase was $3,670 between the two suitcases in two months. That's $6,000, folks. Roughly $6,000. On the Las Vegas situation, they, they looked at the tapes. They couldn't identify anybody. Then a detective happened to be watching a, a uh, news report of Mr. Brenton being, being charged in September with theft of, the, of a suitcase and got a look at the old boy and said, that's our thief. As of <coughs> airing of this show, he has now been terminated from the Department of Energy. Now let me tell you about this guy. He's a true wackadoodle. He's a little little ball-headed guy. Now I've got a lot of friends who've lost hair. But he's a little ball-headed guy. Got a, kind of a slight mustache that he wears with his red, red lipstick. He is a big advocate for the LGBTQ plus crowd. He, <coughs> excuse me, folks, I've had a little bit of a head cold for a few days, and it's starting to get me. Now, he's a big advocate for the LGBTQ plus crowd. He's been known to dress, dress in a dress, heels and all. And he, when they brought him in, he was to the DOE. They announced him as being gender fluid. I guess that means if he, he's a man when he wants to be and he's a woman all the rest of the time. And he's been heralded by all these people. How wonderful he is. Well, folks, if he's convicted of both these crimes, he's going to be serving time. I noticed the one in uh, Minneapolis he could get up to five years for. The one at Harry Reid, he could get five years, 
I believe, six months to five years was one of them. And up to a $10,000 fine. Plus he's got to pay restitution to both women for the loss of their clothes and the other things. The second woman from Harry Reid said she had $1,700 worth of jewelry in her suitcase. They haven't been able to recover any of this stuff. This is what our our administration, this administration is is bringing on board. And then they wonder, you know, the American people wonder why we're considered the laughing stock of the world. We go out and make crazy ass deals with with other countries and give <coughs> give away give away a powerful prisoner <coughs> such as the merchant of debt for a so so girl basketball player. At least she did come out the other day and made the comment that she felt bad that Paul Whelan's still in prison, still being left over there. I'll be honest with you, the less I hear about her, the better I like it. Pray for this country, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, remember, it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. I'm the Ancient Warrior, and we out of here. Merry Christmas, folks, and have a Happy New Year. We'll be seeing you on the next one.